Have you ever watched an anime, and after the 12th episode, you can't remember anything important about it? Not because you were not paying attention, but simply because there wasn't anything eventful happening. No hero fighting a villain, no plot progression or blooming romance. But somehow, some way, after finishing each episode, you feel a sense of fulfillment. You feel healed from all your daily life problems. Today, I want to talk about a certain subgenre of slice of life known as Iyashike. For those who don't know, Iyashike translates to healing. As I mentioned, it is a subgenre of the slice of life that focuses on characters living out peaceful lives in calming environments, and it is intended to have a healing effect on the audience. Most of the time, these type of stories focus less on character or plot development and tend to focus more on the setting and world building to make it more visually appealing to the audience. For the purpose of this video, I'll be mainly focusing on three specific animes that I feel perfectly represent the feeling that Iyashike anime tries to portray. Soprakov, Akebi Sailor Uniform, and of course, Eurocamp. Now, I want you to think about Eurocamp, one of the most popular slice of life animes ever made. I'm sure you have watched a few episodes of it already. So let's take a step back and think about the story of the anime and try to find a way to describe it other than cute girls camping. For me, personally, all the episodes blend together into the same concept. The girls go camping. Usually Nadeshiko and the girls going together to a nice and comfy place while well, Rin takes the more hardcore route taking the scooter to faraway places. There is nothing special about any episode, nor there is a strong sense of plot progression. They are not working towards a specific goal, they are just simply camping. But, every episode, after watching their comfy and relaxed appearance, seeing how much they are enjoying their hobby, I can feel a sense of fulfillment growing up inside of me making me want to try camping myself, wanting to live the life that is possible if I want it. This is not a shonen show with superpowers. They are just girls camping and that could be me. And just knowing that makes my soul feel warm. Akevi's Sailor Uniform this story focuses on a girl that joins a school in the middle of nowhere, just because she loves the sailor uniform the school had. But during her first day, she realizes that the school uniform is different now. But the principal lets her wear the uniform anyway, making her stand out. This is a show about a girl making friends with all her classmates, and honestly, just living her best life, enjoying every moment of it and being the most wholesome story you can find out there. But if you ask me, what happens during each episode? Well, I think a girl was smelling her feet, and I'm pretty sure there was an episode where she exchanges lewd photos with another girl. Okay. <laughs> but honestly, where the anime stands out is in the art. Still images of Akevi doing a cute pose, that last 5 seconds or more. Beautiful takes of Akevi with another girl having some wholesome moments. Impure thoughts get away, let the wholesomeness take the wheel. The reason why this anime hits so hard for me is because watching a young girl living her best life in middle school gives a sense of fulfillment in its own way. But the art style, the art style is what seals the deal for me. You can't simply watch this scene and don't feel healed after it. As for Supercov, this is a more obscure anime because even when it came out, not many people were talking about it. And I think this is understandable. The first episode is just literally a girl all alone going back and forth from school just to realize that maybe she needs another method of transportation. 
So she does the two-wheel license exam, proceeds to buy a used supercuff, and drives it around town. Not much really happening, but somehow I just felt absorbed in the story. Through the anime, she makes a few friends that also like super cups, but aside from that, nothing really happens in the story. If you ask me to tell you what happens on episode 7 or episode 9, I wouldn't be able to tell. I'm sure there was some kind of plot there, but each episode just boils down to the girls driving around using their cups, viewing some beautiful scenery or eating some food. This anime is simply about celebrating small victories. Well, I did say that I wouldn't be able to tell what happens in any episode, but there is one exception, episode 5. I have to say that this episode still has left a deep impression on me even to this day. The episode focuses on Reiko, a super cub enthusiast. She is working during the summer vacation at Mount Fuji, and there is a reason for that. She wants to drive her cub all the way to the summit of Mount Fuji an achievement that has only been done by two people before and with high-performance off-road bikes, not a postal cough. Every day, she tries and tries again to reach the summit, failing at every attempt, because of rough terrain or altitude sickness, crashing and damaging her cough every time. But she never surrenders. She gets back up, fixes her cough, and tries again the next day, until in her final attempt, she is so close to reach the summit, just a few meters away, but she crashes just short of the finish line. Nonetheless, she is smiling and happy, knowing that even with her postal cough, she was able to reach where she is standing. Celebrating these small victories was what really healed my soul. Not because of me wanting to drive a motorcycle up a mountain, but because I saw someone not quitting trying their best to fulfill their dreams. Even if that dream is climbing a mountain, wearing a sailor uniform, or going camping, having this fulfillment of watching someone fight for their dreams is what really makes Iyashike anime special. I know these type of animes are not for everyone, and even then, there is a certain mood that you need to be in in order to fully enjoy it. But there are so many Yashike animes that fit different tastes. Natsume's Book of Friends, Nonon Byori, Senko-san. So I'm sure there is one that will fit your taste and will give you that healing effect whenever you need it. And with that, we come to the conclusion of this video. Which is your favorite Yashike anime? Let me know in the comments below. Until then, see you guys next time.